From a research perspective, I'm lucky enough to work with some fantastic faculty who've done a great deal of uh, research looking at Wikipedia uh, and trying to understand a little bit more about, if you like, the inequalities in terms of who consumes and who produces knowledge in this context. So for me, certainly one of the, the big challenges looking forwards is finding a more equitable way of uh, having knowledge produced and consumed in Wikipedia. So people like Mark Graham, Heather Ford, uh, other colleagues uh, have shown, for example, quite how much knowledge about countries like Africa, uh, other parts of Asia, uh, South America, India, is produced by individuals from outside those regions rather than from the people who live there and who know it best. Secondly, of course, it's also reflected in who consumes information about these regions. So, so certainly for me, that's a significant challenge, I think, is to ensure that, if you like, any sort of colonialism in knowledge production and consumption uh, is decreased over the next few years. On a practical level, I actually think there's a great deal more public understanding needed about the role of, 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 of collaborative projects like Wikipedia. Um, you know, from a, from a, from a very sort of a individual personal perspective, I've been enthralled over the last year to know that we have a Wikimedian in residence at the university. Um, but this is actually quite radical, I think, for universities to think beyond traditional means of disseminating our knowledge and our research. And I would certainly like to see this as a much more sort of common uh, activity to think about how you can uh, move beyond, say, journal publication, writing in newspapers, to actually contributing uh, aspects of research findings to uh, obviously something like Wikipedia, which is accessible to anyone, anywhere. Uh, and then last but not least, I guess a sort of really key part for me, I think, of understanding its value is to do much, much more in schools. Uh, I don't know how much many of you know about the way in which media education is carried out in places like the UK, but actually a lot of our kids are taught to be very sceptical uh, of information on the internet, quite rightly. But the examples are often given are from Wikipedia without any understanding of how you can check, for example, on the, the quality and calibre of information you find therein. So I'd like to see a younger generation who are taught to respect Wikipedia, other forms of collaborative knowledge uh, production, but also most importantly to contribute.